Hello everybody, my name is Claudia and today I'm going to be doing a book review. I'm going to be reviewing Fire From The Tree by Robin Benway. So this is the first book I've read by this author. I know she has another book, I think it's called Emmy and Oliver, which I now want to pick up because I loved her writing style it was so fast paced and i just got through the book so quickly i think i read this book in like two three days it was so good her writing style was addicting and i could not put this book down <clears throat> so this book is based on three different points of view so every other chapter is a different person's point of view so there's Grace, Maya, and Joaquin. So we start off with Grace. Grace is a 16 year old teenager that finds out she's pregnant. And so her parents encourage her that she should give up her baby because she has her whole life ahead of her. So she makes a decision of giving up her daughter for adoption. So when she gives up her daughter for adoption, uh, this whole new world opens up for Grace because she is also adopted. So now she's curious about her birth mother, so she wants to find her birth mother. And her parents tell her that she also has siblings. She has a sister named Maya and Joaquin. And so she decides that she wants to look for them. So in Maya's point of view, Maya has always known she's adopted. It was kind of hard to miss because she's the only brunette in the family of redheads. And so she's okay with this. She's come with it. She doesn't want to look for her bio mom. But Maya is going through a hard time, especially because her mother is an alcoholic and her parents are going through this nasty divorce. So when she finds out that she has a sister and a brother, it kind of makes her feel like she found another family, like she's not alone. And so it makes her feel like she could finally relate to these two other people that are her siblings because they went through the same things that she's been through which is adoption and not knowing your identity and always having questions. Joaquin's point of view. So Joaquin was always in foster care. He never found a family. There, He's been adopted once but something happened in that adoption that we find out in the story. I don't want to spoil but because of that he's scared to get close to anyone, especially his new, especially his new foster parents, Mark and Linda, they love him so much. They want to adopt him, but he's scared because of what had happened in his previous adoption. And so when he finds about Grace and Maya, they kind of start bonding and sharing all these things. And so Grace suggests to go look for their biological mom, but. Maya and Joaquin don't want to, they don't want anything to do with her, especially, especially Joaquin because Joaquin actually lived with his biological mom for a couple of years before he put, she put him in for adoption. Um, Grace, in the book, Grace doesn't tell Maya and Joaquin that she put up her daughter for adoption because she sees how they talk about their bio mom like oh she didn't want me so she's scared that they're gonna judge her the so same. the book continues like that grace dealing with the fact that she gave up her daughter for adoption wondering if she her daughter's gonna grow up asking them same questions she asked like did my mom not want me did i wasn't is she not good enough for her and she's also scared that for some reason okay. parents are for some reason not gonna want her anymore and put her up for adoption as well so there's this fear that grace carries and then there's maya who has to deal with the fact that her parents are getting a divorce and she has to kind of pick up the pieces for her and her little sister and this book really tugged at my heartstrings. It made me laugh, it made me cry, it made me appreciate the things that I have that I take for granted, which is having my parents and never questioning where I came from or questioning my identity, which is something hard. When I read this book, I would picture myself in this situation like, what if I was adopted, or not even if I was adopted, let's say I was in foster care, I would be like, what the heck, like, I would want to know where I came from, I would want to know who my parents are, and I don't know, like, it made me think a lot, and it made me appreciate everything I had, and it made me feel really grateful. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars, which is rare, because I never actually give books 5 out of 5 stars. I don't, to me, for me to give a book of 5 stars, it has to be really good, and everything has to be perfect. And that's not usually the case with 
books I read, I always give them a 4.5 out of 5 stars, but this book was so good, there wasn't one single thing I would have changed. And the ending for Grace, Maya and Joaquin was, it wrapped up so good, it left me satisfied, and I can't wait to read more of Robin's Benway's book. She writes incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this was a very short review, but I didn't want to say too much because if I say too much, like I don't want to ruin the book. It was so good and I recommend it to everyone. I, really, I can recommend it enough. You should go read it and it's definitely one of my favorite books of 2007. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in my next video. Bye!